Hello and welcome back to Caves of Good. We are, um, we're making strides. I, I finally found our, oh, I said I was going to delete these. Okay, well, I'll catch you up while I delete these tabs. Um, hold on a second. Uh, this will be quick actually. But uh, I, I finally found our legendary glow pad, our shiny glow pad, and that they are a, a shopkeeper. Didn't know, that's amazing. Um, they're actually a pretty good, like, I wouldn't say late game, uh, bar, uh, not bar keep, shopkeeper. They're, they're, they're an okay kind of mid tier. Uh, but anyway, now that we've done that, um, I kind of want to just go to Red Rock. Uh, we should be okay. I'm going to get, you know, there's a small chance we're going to get pelted by rocks. I'm going to definitely wait until night, uh, daytime. Is it already daytime? Okay, so I, I found out what it was. It's because I accidentally um, checked pre-release use new input manager, which is what I should be using, but it seems like um, the pre-release new input manager doesn't have some of the uh, same keybinds, including wait until healed or wait until morning. So that's kind of an issue. I, I didn't I didn't actually know that. It's something I'm gonna have to include in my in my. Uh, tutorial so all right well uh we can rest until healed now or rest sorry rest until morning and uh just because I, I need to be able to see as much as possible we're also going to cook and um we'll see we'll see the there's our goat so we're gonna get that achievement oh no unless they die of course let's see if we can't rescue them oh there's a couple of goat Oh, there's a there's a big hulking baboon. That's no good. Okay, good. Lays on baboons is a really nice, and we're getting like very easy progression right now. Um, let's go ahead and can we prosthetize this? Unconvinced. Okay. They are running away. We have one charge. The other baboon is dying to a goat folk. Can we let's let's try and dominate this goat folk they're not technically a goat folk they're just a goat but yeah we just got the achievement goat simulator so there you go um and we'll go ahead and end domination i don't know if that aggro's them nope they're fine they're totally cool with what just happened there we're gonna wait um let's let's wait like 80 turns um oh there's a there's a baboon is why we stopped we're at level five we'll wait 80 turns just to get our lays charges back up there is our um uh staircase down there we go 125 xp it's really like the early game of cud i haven't i haven't done it in a while like actually done it in a while um because like i've just been playing you know, in the late stages, you know, you get when you get into a game of cud, you can stay in the late stages of cud for as long as you want, really. Like, especially in roleplay mode. We, I accidentally wasted a charge there. Um, this is not great. I'm wondering if trying to proselytize them wouldn't be a bad idea. Do I have to use mental mirror? Mental mutations. Uh, you know what? Let's do let's do precognition. Let's start a precognition. Set a checkpoint, and then I'm gonna go over and prosthetize the hulking baboon. Let's do let's sprint over. Um, I'm not seeing the indicator. I, I have to, uh, clearly turned off a couple of things that I I need to turn back on. Let's try and prosthetize this lad. I'm convinced. Uh, we're still sprinting, so we caught up. Can we dominate them? Now I'm wondering, can we, um, go downstairs or do we break line of, do we break line of sight? We can, I, I mean, it sucks. I don't want to wait. I want to auto attack. Is that button the auto, uh, the wait key? Wow. I've been, I do, I'm doing a lot of, uh, Melee nearest enemy. Control A. No, I want it to be this button. Wait 20. Do you want to bind it to melee nearest? Yes. 
I, I'm having a lot of key binding problems today. We're, we're enemies to just about everything, but we're going to be making safe uh, progression in the uh, in the red rock without having to worry about um, our, our actual body. I'm pretty sure I cleared everything um, up there. So dominating is, is actually, I didn't realize that it had such range on it. I don't know how long this lasts. Um, 140 turns, apparently. The really sick part is that we're actually getting experience for the hulking baboon, are we not? What was that? Oh my god, snapshots have like a completely new sound effect. Oh, I hate it. <laughs> it sounds like miserable. Oh man, I, I, I don't feel good about that at all. Um, there's a good chance that our... Uh, Baboon just died. But that's okay. Look at how far we made it with them. <laughs> Who will be our next contestant? Oh, could be a... Uh, well, could be that we die to a snapjaw. Let's start a precognition. We are not in a great position here. Let's dominate this, the scavenger. Domination is broken. Why? You sense your imminent demise. Would you like to return to the start of your vision? Yes. Okay, well, it's a good thing I used precognition there. The bad part is that I'm still kind of stuck in a not great situation right now. Um, let's go ahead and use Witchwood Bark. How about that? We are confused. I might die here. Um, can we sprint? You are grabbed. Jilted Lover is going to end this run. Actually going to end this run. I cannot believe it. Um, I'm pretty sure I only have Witchwood Bark to eat. So in order to try and save this run, I'm going to look through our, our, our food and then eat. We died. Okay, well, you know, sometimes that happens in Cud. You can't say I didn't try. Uh, um, so we do... We could continue that run. Continuing that run would mean that there's at least one achievement that I can't um, get, which is to get the normal run. And I will be saving and loading as per usual. Uh, is F5 our quick save the game? Yeah, I, I kind of wish it wouldn't prompt me like that, but I will. Uh, and I'll, pr I'll try to remember to save in, like, obvious places. The really unfortunate part is if I just went over here as the baboon and killed the stupid jilted lover, I, it would have saved me. Would have, would have saved everything. In fact, the hulking baboon did some really nice damage to that warlord. Oh, we we created a couple of space-time vortexes, apparently. So let's see if we can't um, actually kill this lad now. Can we dominate them? Oh, right. I I unfortunately traded places with the uh, the other snapjaw. Is this a bloody snap job? It is. Um, and because uh, I was a snap job at the point of trying to attack them. Can we proselytize one of these lads? Unconvinced. Proselytize is such a mixed bag. I honestly am not the biggest fan of it, being honest. Okay, let's sprint away. Actually, uh, 64 turns. You know what? Let's go ahead and use an Intimidate. Should work on both of them. And then I'm going to laze the Warlord. I really don't like what's happening right now. Capacity too weak. Can't beguile them. Try 
trying to run away. I guess we could um, eat our witchwood bark. And unfortunately, goat jerky is the other food we had. So that's what happened last time is it was goat jerky. If I had made a note of the fact that we have two witchwood bark eat left, then I might have survived that. Um, can we proselytize you? No. It's amazing. Amazing to me, actually, that we are doing so poorly with the pro uh, proselytization. Because it's ego-based, is it not? It's been a long time since I struggled this hard in cud. Okay. Um, we should get a charge back. We did not get a charge back, so we're going to have to attack the melee. Okay, we're, we're okay. We're, we're back to square... Not zero or one, but, you know, somewhere down there. Okay, can we dominate you? Dominate creature. There we go. Oh, and we have, like, night sense or something. Heightened hearing, maybe? Health dropped. Uh, I see there's a snap jaw making its way over to my body so i would like to stop that from happening gained a level level two uh, snapjaw warlord we kind of have to make sure they die because they're going to be a problem when they uh wake up from their dream there is a legendary what kind of lore do we have here um Loved by Snapjaws, disliked by Kragmensch. Definitely, that is a bit of a problem. Uh, what I'd like to do is dominate them if I can. Can we wait like 20 turns? Yeah, they uh, they just barely were out of line of sight and, and lost interest with me. Okay, can we, let's dominate them. We have pretty good willpower, and I'm pretty sure it is willpower that um, decides what, uh, you know. Your companion, a Snapjaw scavenger, died. He was bitten to death by you. What? Uh, that's weird. Again, I, I don't know if we are getting any experience from this. Is is maybe a small um, problem with this? Is like we're getting experience for the Snapjot Warlord, but are we ourselves actually getting? Um, I, I'm gonna I'm gonna go pick up a torch. Someone was uh, holding a torch up here somewhere. Need a level for the legendary Snapjot. Uh, leather armor, torch, unburnt, uh, equip manual, left fist. There we go. Apparently I'm holding a weird artifact. Get rid of this jilted lover. It's not the first time a jilted lover has killed me, by the way. Ended a run. What do we got in here? Ooh, a musket. I'll leave that for myself. Uh-oh. Uh, I, my domination is going to end soon because that centipede is making its way over to me. Yeah, there it is. Ouch. Okay, which would work? Um, can we prosthesize them? There we go. And I'm going to go ahead and, uh, hit this legendary a couple times. The, the backward centipede is not a... It's it's a weird sight to me, honestly. Okay, we're going to try and intimidate them. So that they get hit by the centipede a little bit. Can we proselytize this guy? I'm convinced. This is a legendary warlord. No, sorry. It's a legendary hulking snapjaw gut spiller. I have no idea. I don't think I've ever seen a gut spiller. So that's a bit odd. They are wounded. I died. I actually died. I'm I'm having really bad. I kind of want to start a new run because I, now that I'm in like classic mode and I have to save manually, 
um like make no mistake uh i i, I am actually getting more progression or i'm I, i'm loading quicker farther into the red rock than normally i would have i would i would have like had to load all the way back at jopa so you know this is this is better in some ways but having to manually load is kind of a problem and i don't really trust that i'll be able to do it i don't think i'm actually making any experience from domination i don't know how that works i don't actually know how domination works if i'm being honest so there's a centipede here they are badly wounded they are badly dead now There's a campfire over here. Okay, um, what what is our equipment right now? We basically don't have any armor. It's probably one of the reasons we're dying so badly. We did get a glow sphere. I got a buckler, so I could put that on our arm. We could go bucklers, go shields, for a little bit of added protection. I like that the campfire has, like kind of a vibe now uh, I'm gonna go ahead and save yeah I mean like I'm not gonna save scum in this game we have um, precognition so it's not really an issue and I mean like do you really want to watch me walk over to Red Rock uh, you know nine times I, I don't I don't think so Okay, let's rest till healed. We still have a legendary to worry about. Uh, can we dominate you? Yes. Dead. Capacity is too weak. Can we prosthetize you? No. Prosthetization is really getting me into trouble right now. We did block something. So the, the, the buckler is already paid for itself as far as I'm concerned. Yeah, killing Snapjaws right now. I, I saw someone say, like, I feel bad about killing Snapjaws now, and I get it. <laughs> it kind of sucks. Does give a add, a add a bit of a characterism to the snap jaws though. I guess there's not much reason in carrying a glow sphere because we do have um oof. Let's dominate them. Uh oh. Okay, let's jump into that time port portal. <laughs> you recognize the area and stop being lost. The domination is broken. Your health dropped to 60%. Where am I? Oh no. Oh no. I think I'm in the jungle right now. Oh, that's a that's a lizard lad. I think that's a um Oh no, I'm in the deep jungle. Uh oh, <laughs> oh, tart beard absolutely destroyed me. Oh my god, I really just haven't. What do you mean? Oh, okay. We we are actually completely that that run is actually ruined. We the the game in its infinite wisdom has saved in the deep jungle. Very good. Very good. Um, yeah, this is like a definitely a dead run. We are not lost. Where are we? You know, we're actually not that far away from Eat Freehold. Let's go to Eat Freehold. <laughs> it begins. Wow. We are level five at Eat Freehold. I don't even think we have enough money to buy the recoiler. Like we are very early in this game and I don't have a recoiler. 
I don't have a recoiler. So like, are we, is this a, the run of me trying to get back to Jopa? This is like that, uh, the, 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 there's a person who made a comic about jumping into a time portal and get, getting flung all the way across the world. This is that right now. It was specifically a Caves of Code comic, by the way. I, 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 could, I could put a link in the description. It was really good. Or just having a quick ex explore. So I, uh, I have Eid Freehold on my map. We'll do a, we'll do a save as well. Can't believe we got flung into the deep jungle. Um, pretty sure that we have to, we can, we can get our recoiler from down here. What is that? Unfinished sculpture. Hmm. All right. Uh, small stone is 240 drams. Well, we do have a bunch of strange furniture and stuff to examine. So it might be that we actually have something, uh, anything uh, of value here. I guess uh, we are also in Eid Freehold, like the absolute uh, top, you know, cream of the crop when it comes to chairs to sit on. So let's go ahead and go sit on a chair. Dromad Caravan in the... Uh, the, 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 the talk conversation pit. Where is the Dromad? Oh, okay, there they are. They have crystal goods. Amazing. Okay. Well, let me sit in uh, a chair bear <laughs> and uh, examine some strange tubes, which is a very Caves of Cud sentence. Whatever they are, they're broken. Okay. We got a chain gun, gas, gaslight, Chris. I guess we did find a, a rust bog, like very, very quickly. Defoliant grenade. Um, so we do kind of actually have some stuff. Why is that thing taking damage? I don't really want to know, to be honest. Hold on, I gotta turn off an option that I have unfortunately turned on. All right, never mind. Never mind. Okay, so um, let me see if maybe this guy is technically an engineer. So would y'all, would you be willing to repair my strange tubes? Five drams, a steel. Could you identify them? Sure. Mechanical wings. We do have mechanical wings. I should absolutely put those on. Um, wondering if we shouldn't sell them. I know that's dumb, but we have a chain gun. <laughs> we have a chain gun. I should use the chain gun. Bloodstained neck ring. That's actually a really nice find. Uh, the only thing I'm not considering using is the Gaslight Chris, although the Gaslight Chris is a really nice weapon. It's a really nice weapon. It's uh, for especially this early in the game. It would 100% uh, make the difference. It would mean that we don't have to have a ridiculous amount of uh, strength to, to actually be, like, functioning. So I'm thinking I'm going to sell the mechanical wings. Um, it's the one thing that I can kind of make enough money. Hologram bracelet as well. We'll buy the small stone. And we'll get a little bit of money back. What, um, what is the chain gun heavy weapon? It is a heavy weapon and it reduces our move speed. So I feel like I don't want to use that, to be honest. We are going to use a, the guest like Chris. Uh, I'm going to replace the cell and also look at the cell. We have to, we have to, um, First of all, let's examine this. Don't, please don't break the recoiler. And we, it has no cell in it. So it was actually just, just a really expensive cell. Unfortunately, this chem cell is already like half spent. So that's kind of a problem. Uh, if I want to use this gas like Chris for very long, then I'm going to have to get another one for sure. Um, could sell that chain gun and then buy another cell. 
but not from this lad. Actually, I don't know where you can buy cells. I don't think you can. Generally speaking, people don't really... Why is this taking so long? Um, they don't, they don't uh, sell cells. They only... <laughs> They only, um, like, sell things that have cells. Okay, there is a, uh, there's some nice stuff here, and of course I would love to buy any of it, but we're not really here to do this. I just want... Flawless Crystal Gauntlets. That's kind of nice. We have some trade goods. Again, I'm not, not really here to do a lot of trading. Okay, hey, well, um, I'm going to be kind of, kind of wishing I had those mechanical wings, I think, because if I get lost between here and, uh, Jopa, then it's, it's game over. <laughs> but, uh, the first thing we're going to do is go through the Palladium Reef and hope we don't die. Hope we don't get lost. That's the first thing we're going to do. Smell roasted before nearby. Would you like to investigate? Heck no. Okay, so now we have like 10 parasangs to walk. You're lost. Okay. Well, we're in the jungle. Um, a magnitude's less dangerous than the deep jungle or the Palladium Reef or the Lake Hinnom. However, basically anything can kill us here. Anything. This is quite the adventure, I'll tell you what. Go Folk Village! We don't want to be here. We could, we would perhaps like to be anywhere else. In a way, the, the way the game saves and loads is more dangerous than roleplay mode. Let's, um, we, we can kill leeches. Unless they bond with us. We are using a Gaslight Chris. We should be able to kill it. 200 XP. That's not bad. There's another one. We could try and uh, prosthetize it. There we go. Now we're talking. Um, let's wait like seven turns in case we find something more dangerous that we want to uh, lose the leech for. Cannot go that way. Oh, right, because we're at the bottom of the world right now. Okay, is this where the goat folk village is? I think so. So we want to go down and then left. Are we, we're still lost? Oh, Naphtali. Naphtali warriors. Okay. Um, we should be okay with the guests like Chris. Naphtali warriors are not that bad. We'll get it. We'll get a little bit of experience from this as well. If I actually make it back alive, we should be a fairly seasoned warrior. Level six. Oh no. Okay, we're gonna dominate. No, we're not. Never mind. We're not gonna dominate. <laughs> oh my god. This is uh, kind of the worst. We just need to not die and, and like get found, find ourselves, regain our bearings. Okay, um, what I'm going to do is instead of going left, since we know there's a goat folk bully over there, is, oh, we have a frog. Frog shouldn't be too bad. He says as he dies. Do we have any more meds? We do. Okay. 300 experience for killing that frog. Like I said, we actually make it out of here alive. We will be fairly seasoned. There's a slumberling. That's fine. Slumberling's not too bad. Chitness Puma. Now, now, uh, now things are dangerous. Um, hoping to lord that slumberling it does not walk its way over here let's do an intimidate oh 
right. So I guess the longer uh, you wait before using an ability, the higher chance of spawning space-time vortices. You died. Bitten, bitten to death by an ice frog. This is, uh, this is really not going well. I should just honestly make a new run. Um, the only reason I'm not making a new run right now is because I, I really just... Like, I still need to get some achievements with this character. Mostly the Star-Eyed Esper. Now, to be fair, I'm not a huge fan of Domination. It doesn't seem very convenient for me, if I'm being honest. I, it's, it's got problems. But, um, you know. I'd still really like to, to see this through. Okay. I can't remember what's over there. Bad stuff, I think. I should use precognition a bit more, shouldn't I? Shit in this puma. If we could dominate them, that would be kind of nice. Or proselytize them. Capacity too weak. Okay. Let's try, first of all, to proselytize them. Nope. Now let's try dominating them. Nope. And now we die. <laughs> intimidate? Okay, intimidate helped. Let's run away. Hit the bricks, as they say. Do you like to return to the start of your vision? No. Okay. There's a frog over there attacking my leech. I I hate this. We're we're making a new run. I'm sorry. Um, we did get the goat uh, achievement. That was really the main one we cared about. Uh, I don't know if I want to continue this like idea of doing classic run, but um, I think I do want to make another Esper. Not really sure what kind of Esper. I kind of want to go Temporal Fugue again because we never did get that cloning achievement and that's a little bit frustrating, but uh, You know, we we don't have to like completely double down on clone cloning We could get something else that helps a little bit. I might still do the the, the quasar jitters or whatever it's called, but um, I don't know it's it's not exactly uh, Comfortable for me, so I don't know Anyway, um, if you enjoyed this, like, kind of totally scrambled run, then um, definitely hit that like button and consider subscribing for more content like this. I'll see you guys next time. Take it easy.